In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to remove the main board out of your XBR65X900C Sony TV. I'm going to first start by removing all of our ribbons and connectors, starting with the top one here. There's a little latch mechanism, so I'm going to flip this up just like that, and the ribbon pulls right out. For this wire cable, I'm going to be pressing down right here and wiggling it out. These two large ribbons are the most fragile pieces, so we'll be extra careful with these. I'm going to be pressing on this cream color latch here in the center. And as I'm pressing down on it and engaging the mechanism, I'm going to be gently wiggling out the ribbon. So the reason you want to be extra careful is it is very easy to damage this little tooth on the side. If you do damage it, whenever you reconnect that connector, it will not line up properly. So you want to be very gentle and careful. We'll do the same with the other ribbon over here. Again, I'm being very gentle. I'm not putting a ton of pressure. There we go. With this connector, we have two latches on the sides here that we'll need to engage as we wiggle out the connector. So I'm actually going to use my tool here. There we go. And these are very thin wires, so you don't want to be yanking on them very hard. I'm putting very little pressure. And then finally over here, we have a little latch mechanism in the center. And there we go. Next, we're going to be removing all the screws, but first I'm going to be gently wiggle out this shroud that is covering some of them. The most common faults we see with the XBR65X900C as well as the 55X900C are going to be mainboard failures. Most commonly, it's going to be a completely dead, no power symptom. We also see the TV turning on, showing the Sony logo, shutting off, and rebooting. Sometimes it makes it past the Sony logo to the Android logo, and then shuts off. We'll have videos linked at the end with more details on those failures. And at this point, the board should be free and clear. However, there are two thermal pads behind these two processors on the back of the board. So if they might be a little sticky and give you a little resistance. Just be gentle, kind of lift it all around the corners and then slide it out. These are the pads I was referring to. And there we go. This is how we remove the main board. You can check out our main board repair video next over here or our LED strip repair, which is the four and six blink codes down over there. If you like the content, if you found it helpful or useful, leave us a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.